Runner for first goes. This one cut on and missed. Alvarez throw to second. One hop, and what do we got here? I'm going to say safe at second base. So obstruction is a point of emphasis this year in Major League Baseball. It's not a new rule, but we've already seen it called a bunch of times. And in this Mets-Tigers game, the rule was horribly enforced, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. So first, let's talk about what obstruction is, again, for anyone that is unsure. So the rule states that obstruction is the act of a fielder when not in possession of the ball who impedes the progress of the runner. And you'll usually see this with infielders dropping a knee or a leg to not allow the runner to get back to a base. So let's break down this play. We have a runner at first. We have a stolen base attempt. Catcher's going to come up and throw. You can see Lindor right here has his foot in front of the base. But as he goes to catch the ball, he moves his foot right in front of the base. Now he catches the ball. The runner is out by a half a mile. He's going to be tagged out. But you can see the umpire right here is saying, no, no, no. We have obstruction. He is safe. And you can see... In the background here, you can see McNeil's reaction is going, oh, you got to be kidding me. Takes his glove off. He does not agree with the call. Now, again, in my opinion, the throw is accurate. It beats the runner by a lot. The foot of the field is slightly in front of the base, but it doesn't impede with the progress of the runner. And so, again, we can see here Lindor sets up in front of the base. But as he goes to catch the ball, he moves his foot. I know it's a little bit tough to see, but he starts to move his foot in front right there. But the runner isn't anywhere close to the base. So again, in my opinion, he's not impeding the runner's ability to get to the base, even though the foot is there. And so again, he's tagged out, but called safe because of obstruction. And I think if this is the case then there are going to be a lot, and I mean a lot of obstruction calls, because as an infielder, when you're sprinting to get in front of the bag, there are going to be times where a little bit of your foot may be slightly in front of the base. But I think the umpires need to have some feel here, and if the runner went to slide in and the foot actually did impede them from getting there, then fine. We can call them safe even if they're tagged out because of obstruction. But again, on this play, the foot had no effect on the play. I mean, let's look one more time, right? Like that foot, that foot doesn't have any effect on the play. The runner is sliding in right here. He's sliding in. The ball is going into his glove. Boom, the ball's there. I mean, what is that? A good six feet or so, maybe more that he's out by. So he's not impeding him at all. Again, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think about it. I'm just afraid because I was a middle infielder and I'm sure my foot was in front of the base on a lot of tags. It's hard to get to the front of the bag and make sure that your foot doesn't get anywhere in front of the base as you're catching and applying the tag. So again, if I look at the rule, I think of the word impeding and I, I don't see the foot impeding the base runner from getting to the bag. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below on how this rule was enforced. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification. I'll give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.